guys, it's Perry here in New Mexico this time because we had to visit Spaceport America. It's a facility where eventually you could buy a commercial ticket to go to space. And we're here in honor of the at-home release of the movie Ad Astra, of course, starring Brad Pitt. And we're doing a whole bunch of cool stuff here, like riding in a G-Shock machine. We're gonna go on the moon rovers and so much more. So check out our adventures right now. Robert Yoel, I was a technical consultant on Ad Astra, and uh, what that meant was helping the director uh, achieve as much realism as possible in the film. Ad Astra is science fiction, so as far as realism is concerned, it's not a documentary. And it's taking place primarily, you know, about 50 years ahead from now. So some of what is presented may not be real today, but possibly. Uh, will be real in the future. Yeah, there's a lot of differences in working with a, with a film that's set in the future because you have a heck of a lot more flexibility on the what ifs and the what is possible than you do with a, with a film that's, for instance, a historical look back um, that you already know what happened and you know that it couldn't have been this. So I think there is, there is a, a lot more leeway, if you will, in a, in a science fiction film set in the future than, than others. All right, not gonna lie, this might be the thing I'm most excited about on this trip. I'm going in the G-Shock machine. I feel like after bungee jumping, this is gonna be fine, right? It's all good. Oh yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> machines that get more intense than this? No. No? This is it. Oh wow. <laughs> that was incredible. That was very much my speed, although I would have gone a little faster if they would have let me. Next, I want to go back in it and I want to do like a task. I want to solve a puzzle or something, but they're not going to let me do that. That was so much fun though. It's crazy how when you go in it, you can't help but to smile and laugh for whatever reason. So yeah, I would ride that all day. Why not? My name's Eric Underwood. I'm the picture car mechanic, so I was involved in keeping all of the moon rovers, lunar rovers uh, running throughout the shooting of the movie with all the stunts and crash sequences and everything. Um, and it was, uh, it was a great time, actually. We had a pretty, pretty successful uh, shoot, not too many terrible issues. Um, it went probably better than average. That's so encouraging. And encouraging when we're sitting in one you used on set, right? Yeah, yeah, no, this was actually involved in, in all of the filming. Uh, we used this particular vehicle and it fared pretty well. How fast are we gonna go in it? Uh, it's up to you. I mean, the, the vehicle's capable of about 85 miles an hour. We have a little bit of room. If we're allowed to do that, I'm down for it. I'll, I'll step on it, we'll see right. what we can do. Let's go. Let's do it. Best jobs to drive around and shit like this for work. This it's is great. Fun most of the time. Oh, this is so great. It was incredible. <laughs> that was why. So we went 65. Yeah, we went right. 65 on the back road back there. Okay, I'll take it. Not the 85. No. Not Even eventually, I'll build up and we'll get there. 
Exactly. Save this for me when you get back to LA. Thank you. Eric. It was a pleasure. That's it. We're leaving Spaceport America. It was so much fun today, but you know what? If and when I have the big bucks to go to space, I'm coming right back here. I hope they save a seat for me. You know what you should do right now while I'm waiting a very long time to make that happen? You should probably go check out Ad Astra. It's available on digital right now, so do that. Like and share this video, and we will see you soon with more fun content right here on Collider Video.